step into the mysterious world of the Twilight Zone. This TV series, which premiered in 1959, has fascinated viewers for decades with its mix of suspense, mystery, and sci-fi. It's a show that has stood the test of time, captivating audiences with its unexpected twists and turns. What makes this show a lasting symbol of the industry? Well, it's the way it keeps you guessing, the way it draws you in with its intriguing stories. And there are plenty of interesting facts and stories behind the scenes that add to its allure. Do you know any little-known tidbits about the show that grab your attention? Maybe there's a surprising plot twist or a behind-the-scenes story that fascinates you. Share your thoughts below. As for personal memories, do you have a favorite moment from The Twilight Zone? Perhaps a scene that stuck with you or an episode that left a lasting impression? Feel free to share your cherished memories in the comments. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into The Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone, a TV series from 1959, is a unique part of television history. Created and hosted by Rod Serling, each episode had his personal touch, offering viewers a variety of stories exploring humanity, morality, and the unknown. Different from other anthology series at the time, each installment showcased Serling's unmistakable style and vision. Featuring a cast of talented actors like William Shatner, Elizabeth Montgomery, and Burgess Meredith, the show captivated audiences with its thought-provoking stories and unexpected twists. Serling's ability to weave tales ranging from science fiction to psychological drama kept each episode fresh and engaging. Despite its black and white presentation and the passage of time, the show continues to find new audiences through reruns and streaming services. Its timeless themes and innovative storytelling have solidified its status as a classic of science fiction TV, leaving a lasting impression on generations of viewers. Looking back, The Twilight Zone stands as a testament to Serling's creativity and foresight, showing his ability to explore ideas while entertaining audiences. Its lasting impact reminds us of the power of television to provoke thought and imagination. The Twilight Zone, a well-known TV show, holds a significant spot in American culture. Tony Randall, famous for his role in the series, worked with his co-star on Broadway in 1998 for Neil Simon's The Sunshine Boys. He got his bachelor's degree in theater from Brooklyn College in New York City. The series is highly valued and secured the eighth spot in TV Guide's list of the 25 top cult shows ever. Its lasting impact on audiences shows that its stories and themes remain relevant over time. This was the Twilight Zone, a famous TV series from the late 1950s, is well known for its host, Rod Serling. Though he's mostly remembered for playing Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane on The Dukes of Hazard in 1979, Serling's influence on TV was huge. Even after he died, a comic book version of the show continued until 1982, featuring Serling's picture as the host. One really scary episode, The Dummy, often gets called the scariest in the series, according to critics' polls. It shows how people still like the Twilight Zone's mix of suspense, science fiction, and psychological thrills. Its impact is still felt in popular culture today. The Twilight Zone, a famous TV show, has connections to various other people and projects in the entertainment world. John Schneider, a former co-star of the show, worked with him on two separate occasions. They collaborated on CMT Cribs in 2010 and Return of the Killer Shrews in 2012, with Schneider reprising his role from 50 years ago. Additionally, the creator of The Twilight Zone was involved in co-creating The Monkees, another well-known TV venture. Furthermore, his Western series, The Loner, was canceled early after only 13 episodes because of its unusual storylines. These connections show how far-reaching The Twilight Zone's influence is. The Twilight Zone, a famous TV series from 1959, brought people together from different backgrounds, forming strong friendships that lasted beyond the show. One example is when actor Robert Fuller met Best during his guest appearance on the sixth episode of Laramie. This meeting led to a friendship that lasted 56 years until Best passed away in 2015. Another interesting story is about Best playing the Penguin on Batman in 1966. He had trouble with coughing because of his past smoking, so he came up with the Penguin's unique grunting laugh to hide it. Even though it was tough, his idea made the character more charming and people liked it. He quit smoking again after the show ended to take care of his health. Best also had a cool idea for the Dukes of Hazard in 1979. He suggested adding his own dog, Flash, to the show, mixing reality with fiction. This made his character more real and showed his love for his dog. 
In short, the Twilight Zone connected people and led to creative solutions that went beyond regular TV storytelling. Its impact is seen in the lasting friendships formed, smart problem solving, and genuine moments shared both on and off screen. The Twilight Zone, a famous TV show from 1959, has interesting connections among its cast. Catherine Bach, who acted in The Dukes of Hazard, often visited a website about painting made by one of the actors. One actor from The Twilight Zone played characters of many nationalities in American movies. He portrayed people from 35 different countries, like a Filipino in Back to Baton and a French person in Passage to Marseille. He also played roles like Greek, Arab, Romanian, Chinese, and Mexican in other films. Some of his famous roles are Anselmo in For Whom the Bell Tolls and The Old Man in the Magnificent Seven. The Twilight Zone inspired three spin-off shows showing how much people still love the original series on TV. In the late 1970s, a screenplay was drafted envisioning the Lost in Space family finding their way back to Earth. 20th Century Fox was on board, but Irwin Allen, the series creator, declined to revive it. The project faded away after Guy Williams' passing in 1989. Submitted for Your Approval served as the title for a documentary on Rod Serling. He maintained a lifelong friendship with James Stewart, his co-star in Dear Bridget. Their families were close, both attending the Beverly Hills Presbyterian Church. Mummy can still mimic Stewart's voice, a talent that often amused Stewart. The Twilight Zone, which aired in 1959, featured actors who went on to notable roles in other series. For instance, in 1993, Bill Mummy played Lanier in Babylon 5. He was offered a role in Star Trek Deep Space Nine by producer Ira Bayer, but was unavailable due to his commitment to Babylon 5. When offered a role in DS9 later on, he initially declined the part as an alien. However, he eventually accepted a human role during the final season of the show. The series attained landmark status, earning praise from both critics and viewers alike. Rod Serling, the creator, attempted other projects like Night Gallery, but none matched the impact of The Twilight Zone. Rod Serling and Robert McCord were the only actors to appear in all five seasons. Following closely were Jack Klugman, John Anderson, John Lormer, and Vaughn Taylor, each appearing in four seasons. Klugman and Taylor were in the first, third, fourth, and fifth seasons, Anderson in the first, second, fourth, and fifth, and Lormer in each of the first four seasons. The Twilight Zone started in 1959 as a TV series. Jennifer Jones, famous for her roles in movies like The Song of Bernadette and Madame Bovary, appeared in three films with the series. The creator of The Twilight Zone originally wanted Richard Egan to narrate due to his deep voice. However, Egan couldn't join because of his contracts, so he decided to do the narration himself. In The Dukes of Hazard, a character carried a fancy Smith and Wesson Model 15, showing off expert shooting skills. Surprisingly, the actor who played this character, James Best, served in World War II as a gunner on a B-17 bomber, training in Biloxi, Mississippi, in 1944. 